What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a quick review as far as something that I've been meaning to do for a, uh, about a month or so now, but I haven't had a chance to get around to doing. I haven't really played very much video games over the past month or so, um, so I really haven't had a chance to do a full test of all the features of the Razer Kishi, which is basically an add-on, and in this case for Android devices, but they do have a um, iPhone or iOS version as well to support the lightning connector I want to say. Um, the Android version does use USB-C so as long as your phone fits in the dock then it, um, it looks like it should work. Um, so I decided that I would finally give another game a try aside from Red Dead Redemption 2 on Google Stadia just because the game is kind of slow paced in the beginning and I didn't really have much interaction as far as button pushing aside from you know mounting the horse dismounting talking to people and all of that so i could probably haven't gotten to much of the action part of the game um but an article did come across my news feeds that a sequel to a doom add-on was re released in the past few weeks so i figured i would give the um original mod a try called deathless and then um the sequel a try as well called um prelude i believe it is so um in regardless of that i figured doom would be a good case uh, or a good use case as far as using the buttons to uh, switch guns running around in movement aiming and shooting and all of that various stuff so I did play for about 20 minutes just because um, I had some experience with the Kishi on Red Dead Redemption 2 and I had a general familiarity so I had an idea of the uh, functionality and abilities but with Doom it would be a little bit more of a stress test as far as checking the heating on the phone um, because with um, Red Dead Redemption 2 my phone was getting pretty hot. But I, I'm chalking that up to because I'm streaming via Stadia and also doing a gameplay recording using my local um, game recorder. So with Doom, I'm playing the game locally and also recording lo locally. So after 20 minutes of recording, the, my phone isn't nearly or is not nearly as hot as it got with the Stadia or playing the game on Stadia. So overall, a good positive experience there. And in playing Doom, I'm finding that it's a very good experience over using touch controls. So in general, the Kishi is very responsive. I don't don't notice it very much lag. I'm still getting used to the aiming with the joysticks and stuff like that. So that's more of a me thing than a Kishi thing at the moment. But overall, I can get... Um, it already stops on a dime, so very good responsiveness and feedback there. Um, strafing is good, running around is good, um, switching between the guns. So once you familiarize yourself with the controls, it's actually very good. So switching between the guns, uh, running over things to pick up ammo and all of that is generally a good time and a good experience. So if I was to recommend the Kishi or provide a recommendation for the Kishi, I would definitely say to get it um, because in general it works. I don't have, I just haven't noticed any issues at the moment. You basically plug it in and you, uh, once the blue light turns on that has been detected, you're good to go. Um, so once I finish playing through the Doom mods, I'm gonna try an RPG like, um, Maybe play Knights of the Old Republic again, see how it plays with that. Um, maybe even after playing Red Dead Redemption. Uh, because of the heating, I may not do the gameplay recordings on it, but still play the game to see overall how it holds up. Um, but in general, the Kishi is a good experience. It's a very solid device. Um, as far as comparable um, feel on the aesthetics. Um, it feels very much like the Sega Game Gear, which was the last handheld console I held, or actually owned and used. So that kind of gives you a time frame as far as the last time I used a portable gaming device. Um, but in general, um, the the feel is um, comparable to that. And then of course, you are now using a modern. Um, uh, gaming device in the form of um, Android or yeah, basically an Android device so 
um, depending on your phone, performance on the game will still be the same. But as far as Kishi providing that tactile feedback for a controller, it is really good. You do get your joysticks on the left and right. You get your directional controls. You have your buttons for screenshot, pause, and play. Um, so your buttons on the top, the left and right, as far as um, game switching and strafing and things like that. So very much along the lines of an Xbox or PlayStation controller, but made for your Android device. Um, there is an Xbox control, Xbox version if you want to play with Xbox Game Pass. Um, I did not get that version just because I don't have um, an Xbox uh, subscription. But if I do decide to try it, I might give it a shot to see how well that works. Um, I don't know if they have a free trial or something like that before I get started to maybe see if there are games available you know, to test out and play and generally see how it works with the controller. I want to say that um, the Xbox version has a dedicated button or dedicated uh, mapping as far as matching the controller control buttons to the Xbox. But aside from that, there isn't really much difference between the Xbox and regular non-Xbox version. So you, I could potentially see it as a way to... Um, like if you could remap your buttons or something along those lines, then it would be a definite plus. But just playing the um, base or using the base controller is a good time. Um, and there are other versions out there, but because Razer is known in the gaming world, it has a name recognition. Um, that's why I kind of went with that. And overall, I want to say that I'm impressed. Um, as far as connecting to your device, you will need to take off your um, phone's case so that the USB ports fit snugly in there. Um, I connected audio via Bluetooth, um, mostly because I don't have a headphones jack and it would get covered by the Kishi. So um, if you don't have a headphone uh, or if you don't use Bluetooth headphones, then you may need to turn up the volume on your device, but that'll be the way. To, but Bluetooth is a way to go so that because the Kishi does block your headphones connector. Um, if you are going to be playing a game for a long time, then you will need to, or you can use the built in pass through charging. So the Kishi does have a USB C charging port on the bottom right, so you can plug in your controller to keep your phone charged. But, um, the controller itself draws its power from your phone, which I found is minimal. So your normal battery drain on your phone is going to be about as normal as if you are playing the game using your on-screen controls. So um, that's so if there is battery extra battery drain, is probably as far as I can tell, maybe one or two percent more per hour. But it is pretty negligible as far as I can tell. I didn't notice anything in my 20 minutes of playing Doom, so um, take that with a grain of salt. I mean, for me, I didn't notice extra battery, battery drain, but performance may vary depending on device, skins, what's running in the background, and that sort of stuff. Um, I want to say that potentially having ga a gaming mode on my OnePlus 9 Pro also helps with that, so background stuff is restricted when I'm playing a game, so that um, is also something to take into consideration if you don't have a gaming mode or something that restricts um, other functions, other phone functions while playing games. So there is that. Um, so if I was to grade the Kishi after this this initial couple of games, so using it for maybe an hour or two, overall it is a good device. So I'd probably give it a grade of about a B plus to an A minus. Uh, like I said, it feels good, it performs good, plugging it in is good. Um, heating depends on your device. Um, so I'm gonna. So once I finish the Doom mods, I'm going to try playing Red Dead Redemption again, but without recording the gameplay directly on my device to see if heating is related to the gameplay recording and streaming the game at the same time. Um, but so if the game or if my phone's heating problem goes away because of the recording, then that's obviously that and not related to the Kishi. Um, but that's something that I'll be t uh, doing as far as a performance test in the future. Um, but overall, I want to say that it is a good device. It does make playing mobile games that much more fun. And especially if you don't have, um, uh, the Chromecast Ultra or the 
gaming Chromecast to stream to your TV, but you want to play games locally or you prefer playing games on your mobile device um, more than having a console, then the Razer Kishi is the way to go. So, so far as of about a month in, um, it's a buy recommendation for me. But I'll be, like I said, I'm going to keep playing the Doom mods, see how it is, how easy or hard it is to continue playing over longer periods of time to see how finishing them goes and potentially even playing for longer periods of time to see how it goes as far as playing for, you know, maybe 45 minutes or an hour versus 20 minutes to see if that makes any sort of difference. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, um, feedback of your own, uh, maybe I, there's something I didn't cover in this particular review that you'd like to hear about, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The gameplay playlist is in the show notes if you want to check out the first video for Doom or the Doom mod that's up now, and you can comment on that post or on the Patreon post or anything like that, or on this episode on YouTube as well. The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash PatelN01. Um, the website is headphonesneal.reviews for all subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time. <laughs>